My name is Avilek Sahar. Uh, I'm in fourth year chemical engineering at University. I got placed in practical technologies and my department is uh, internal sales specialist. Uh, about the campus interaction, my university provided me the login ID and username. And uh, I used to practice a lot. Like every day, half an hour of aptitude was good for me. And the thing was, most of the AMCAT questions, like, uh, uh, were, were repeated uh, either from ratio proportions or time and distance. Most of the questions were repeated from the AMCAT and from the campus interaction. So it was easier for me to clear the written rounds. So that was all about campus interaction. Uh, I got placed in Packet Technologies. Uh, before that, I have been through interviews for Futures First and uh, Honeywell and various other mass recruiters like IT companies and Packet Technologies was the company in which I went through the interview round and got selected. Uh, for the interview, it was basically an SR interview, so a lot more preparations were not necessary for that. Uh, none of the questions were technical. It was just logical reasoning and uh, how do you tackle situations uh, in normal life. And uh, like uh, for the preparation, I used to went to the Wiki, uh, I used to go through the Wikipedia page about the background of the company. Practical technology is uh, relatively a startup, so I went through the biography of the startup and how it came, how the idea came to the people who started the startup. So that was the groundwork I did for the interview process. As Practic Technologies is a startup, uh, I went to the Glassdoor reviews, I went to the Wikipedia page about their products and how they are working. Uh, I learned a little about the uh, founders of the company, like uh, they belong to an IDK, and uh, what is their revenue, how they are funded, what is their funding, present, present funding, how many number of employees are there. This was the groundwork I did for Practic Technologies basically. And uh, for the interview, uh, I just asked my uh, friends who have got placed in the review offers uh, before me. That, that was very much helpful and this was the thing I prepared for today. Uh, for the HR round, uh, uh, the questions were logical only. Uh, like, uh, one of the most interesting questions was, uh, the interviewer asked me, uh, suppose you have finished your target within 15 days of the month. So what would be your strategy for the next 15, month, uh, 15 days? Uh, you will be relaxing or you will be going for other work or you will be taking a leave, something like that. I said, uh, no sir, I won't be taking a leave. Uh, I'll, I'll go for, uh, for more targets. I'll ask my supervisor to give me more targets. Uh, uh, satisfaction is not necessary in this case because your company has a growth rate of 200% per quarter. And uh, if I get the start of myself, I'll stop growing, and which is very much the hardest. So uh, this will be my uh, uh, strategy for the next 15 days. I guess this was the toughest question only because I need to think a lot. I, t I, I took 5 minutes of time to think for that. And uh, apart from that, he asked me to uh, sell an Aquafina model, uh, which was very much uh, difficult for me. Uh, and I screwed it, I seriously screwed it. Uh, I was not prepared for that. So this was the toughest question. Uh, my body language, like I, I was just in formals, it was 10 in the morning. Uh, my interview was still 10 in the morning. and. Uh, I was clean shaved, <laughs> I was smiling, and that's all I remember. You have to be confident, that's all. For an HR interview, you have to be confident, and you have to think fast, as, as fast as you can. That is the key for an HR interview. Uh, at the end of the interview, uh, my interviewer asked me, uh, uh, do, you want to have, do you want to ask any questions about Practo? Uh, I said, no, I don't have any questions about Practo. I just have a question, what are the things in my interview I lag a lot? Uh, are the communication skills good or my reasoning uh, skills bad? He said, uh, you don't lag anything. Uh, yeah, you just lag uh, in speaking a bit fast. You, you were a very fluent speaker, so it was very difficult for me to interact with you. So uh, it was not very difficult for me to interact with you. Uh, you were very fast and that was the thing which impressed me a lot. I have been through uh, two to three inter interviews, uh, one of the super, uh, super team interviews also, so I was a little less nervous in this case, as uh, uh, it, it was just an HR interview, so I was very less uh, nervous. Um, my uh, tips for my friends helped, helped a lot, so nervousness was overcome by just the tips. Also.
for the next remaining student community, I would like to say for the interviews, you need to do a uh, bit of background check on the company. Uh, read the uh, reviews, uh, read the Wikipedia page. Just learn what the company does. Don't go blank into the interview. Just try to learn what the company does and what would be your role in the company. If you are very, much, if you are having a clear cut idea about that, uh, you can go through the interview. Apart from that, you can go through uh, logical puzzles. You can start reading newspapers because newspapers give a lot of information about different companies, and uh, that's Wikipedia and Google will do for you. Campus Interaction is a very interactive site. Like your friends also answer uh, for the same question, and you can see their answers. You can answer a lot of questions. There is no foundation of number of questions you can attempt. It is free for us, <laughs> and you have uh, the questions get repeated in the AMCAT and other companies uh, written out also. So if you want to create the written rounds, uh, Campus Interaction is very necessary, uh, uh, and uh, it, it, you either be a Albert Einstein in your branch, you have to. Uh, Clear the written down to get placed in any other company. So campus interaction is very much necessary. And I feel so it is very necessary for us to think. Uh, VIP University, it is a it is a place to learn and a chance. It gives you a uh, chance to grow also. Uh, VIT uh, my, my past four years in VIT have been fabulous. Uh, my past experience shows that it is a big journey you have to carry. You, uh, for four years, I don't know how I spent my four years. Like it is home away from home. <laughs> they actually say and getting plays after four years is just uh, a, a diamond in your crown. So VIT is the best college I have ever seen in my entire life, apart from the IITs.